The UN in New York. It plays an important role in Mark Boswell's film, as does a meeting during the Second World War between two atomic physicists, Heisenberg, a German, and Bohr, a Dane. Boswell's work refers to this meeting in Copenhagen. The end of Copenhagen for me is a, is a layer title. And first of all, I was very influenced by the Situationist movement. And there's a Situationist piece by a Danish artist called Le Fond du Copenhague. This, this term always stuck with me, the end of Copenhagen is some kind of apocalyptic fantasy. The invisible part was the concept of atomic energy, nuclear energy atom bombs, which is what Heisenberg went to Copenhagen to find out. Did Germany have the capability of creating nuclear atomic energy and or bombs? Mark Boswell and his German wife have only recently moved to New York. The man from the south finds the city on the Hudson the ideal place for his work method. Boswell generally assembles his films out of found footage, sampling news snippets, documentaries and old movies. For his Copenhagen film, for instance, he used scenes from two feature films, one made in France and one in Hollywood. I always work with historical material. And I feel that, that, that history is one continuous circular path. There's not, a begin, there's not a beginning and there's not an end to history. So the same thing with artistic history. So by taking these materials that reference to history, we use their references to inform the present and to possibly predict what's going to happen in the future. Mark Boswell produced The End of Copenhagen while still living in San Francisco, where he was director of the Art Institute's film department for seven years. With former prison island Alcatraz at his doorstep, the 44-year-old made several films, all of them biting, sarcastic commentaries on mainstream America. Walmart, Kmart, Food Mart, whatever. The entire USSA ironizes the, the inherent relation the between U.S. fast food chains industry, and the former Soviet the system. Diplomatic symbol of America. You walk in the Burger King of Warsaw, and you're walking into the U.S. Embassy. USSA. Take an 1100 to the field for anything. And be sure to take some long Agent Orange deals with the connection shells, between too. private gun freaks and weapons of mass destruction. So, what kind of business are you in? Deep Blue plays with conspiracy theories. I'm a sort of diplomat of the dark fiber astrological order. Mark Boswell sees himself as an ear to the tradition of American experimental filmmaking in the 60s and of the Nouvelle Vague. He has been strongly influenced by theories which hold life and art to be inseparable. And his work is different from that of his famous colleague Michael Moore. His films are not easily understood and demand background knowledge. Mark Boswell is a concept filmmaker. I'm assuming that these individuals have somewhat of an understanding of, of the history of art, the history of ideas, philosophy, art movements, uh, even cinematic history. And that is what makes the challenge for me of creating art. It's not about a commercial process or trying to reach too many people. It's about reaching the individuals that have already done enough work so that when your message comes to them, they're able to decipher it and decode it and, and understand it. This uncertainty, this hovering between worlds, is so wonderfully expressed in the Frank Sinatra film. Boswell transfers this to the Copenhagen situation, and it's beautifully done. It has so many layers. I too voted for the end of Copenhagen because it takes a political process that's very, very complicated and human in its nature. It uses cinematic composition and montage techniques to compose something entirely new. 
and composed it so impressively that, for me, this is an exemplary instructional piece which at first simply irritates, but then has a lasting effect. Das eben wirklich einfach mal erst irritiert, äh, aber dann sehr gut nachwirkt. Es handelt sich um eine äh, wiederum in sich sehr komplexe Arbeit, die. Äh, Here's a work which is very complex within itself. It treats film material from last year in Marienbad and a black and white Frank Sinatra movie using a striking editing technique and, very notably, an inverse relation between the underlying texts, which are scientific in nature, and the dialogues spoken by the actors. The reflection of quantum mechanics, using the metaphor of the two possibilities of text and image. And we found the use of this theme in the film's text, the political component, which did not figure largely, contained a distinct statement along the lines of a recent film concerning current policy on Iraq, which won an award in Cannes. That was one component, but absolutely not the deciding one. It was the complex historicizing of a physical theory through cinematic means which convinced us.